Okay, so today is the day. I'm applying for a new job and I'm working on my cover letter. I've already written a lot of the letter, but I need to make some changes. Let's start by inserting some new text. It's really simple. All you need to do is move your mouse to the location you want to add the text and left click it. The insertion point appears. Now I can just type the text I need. Anytime you make a mistake, you can just use the backspace key or the delete key to correct your mistake. There may be times when you want to move the text from one location in the document to another. There are several ways you can do this. One way is to copy text and paste it in another place in the document. For example, let's copy with telephone ink from the first sentence and place it in the last paragraph of the letter. To do this, you first need to select the text. Place the insertion point next to the text you wish to select and left click your mouse and drag it over the text you wish to select. Then release the mouse button. See how the text is highlighted? That means you've selected the text. Very good. Okay, this is worth mentioning. This little box that appears, this is the hover toolbar and whenever I select text, the hover toolbar comes up and it gives me other options, but we're going to highlight that a little later, so let's keep going. Once the text is selected, click the copy button on the home tab. Now just place your insertion point where you want the text and click the paste button. And ta-da! Your text appears. This is great when you're copying and pasting large amounts of text. You can also move text by dragging and dropping. Let's say you wanted to move this sentence, thank you for your consideration, to the end of the letter. First, select the sentence. Then, left click your mouse and drag it to the location you wish the sentence to appear. You'll notice a pointer arrow appears as you are dragging. Release the mouse button and you've moved your sentence. Not only can you move sentences, you can move words, paragraphs, or any text on the page. Sometimes you'll find that you can't copy and paste or drag and drop an item exactly where you want it to appear, which has happened in this case. So get as close as you can and then use your Enter key to move the text to its desired location. Now, everything's in place and I want to make some changes to my font. Since I want to change the text of my entire document, I should select all of the text. I can do this by using my mouse or in the editing group. Choose Select and then Select All. This selects the text in my entire document. Now I'm ready to look at my font choices. Let's go to the font drop down box on the home tab and move the cursor over the various fonts. There are a lot of different font choices and live preview features let me see how my document will look in these various fonts before I select one. Hmm, this one looks good. Now to my font size, 10, 11, 12. I think the standard is somewhere between 10 and 12, so I'll choose 11. Now my font color, hot pink. Well, this is a cover letter, so maybe I shouldn't choose hot pink and I should just stick to black.